going to be Ona at Party Box. This is Oscar, he is my assistant for when we're filming. Hello. <laughs> Today we are going to look at the best way to wrap a past the parcel. Now you may think it's just a matter of wrapping and going ahead, but actually it isn't. And if you've been to children's parties, you'll want it to happen as quickly as possible, but just one layer, because if two layers are taken off, there could be war in the party. Yeah, okay. So, first things that we need to do is get everything ready. We have our prize. Can you hold up the prize for sure, buddy? Hold in the prize. Which we've got some inflatables. Do you want to have a bit of a, a bigger prize at the end? We have, I'll show them the coins. We've got some chocolate coins that we're going to put so that there's a prize in every level because when you open up, it's nice to find something, isn't it, in there? Yeah. We have some jokes that I have here, so I'll just cut the final joke ready to put in. And we've got that there. If you go onto the Party Box website, www.partyboxlimited.com, then you can find in our um, printables and downloads page a list of jokes there that you can use um, for your own past the parcels or of course you could just go and buy one ready made and that will just make everything easier for you so depends how much time you've got really doesn't it uh, right so what we've done what, what i've done here i just need these can you move those out the way for me please all of the gold coins to one side that's it. Let's put them safe. That's it. Okay. okay. We've got our sellotape tape ready on a dispenser because that makes life a lot easier. And then we've got three quite distinct. Can you move the red one? I've got the red one. Three quite distinct um, pieces of coloured paper. That's so that each layer you can clearly define which is which. Okay. So. I usually have a nice bright colour paper on the outside because that just makes it look really nice when people get the parcel in the first place. So the first thing we're going to do is get the first piece of paper. These are already cut, some are smaller at the start and some are larger. You could cut yours first too, it just makes things a bit easier. I'm going to put in the parcel here. We're going to, because it's the final layer as well, this one, um, we tend not to put in the joke and the um, queen just because the child by this stage is just so over the moon that they've won this prize. And we tend to use unisex prizes um, and that's been used or, or that's liked by, you know, quite a few ages. I know some adults that would enjoy messing about with one of these inflatable sticks and a bit like uh, in the old days. Oh gosh, I can't think what it was called. Anyway, mm -hmm. I need to bosh people on the head. Mallet's mallet it used to be, you can have a go with that. It's like word association. Have you ever played word association, Oscar? Uh, I can't say I have. So if I say parcel, you've got to say something that goes similar to parcel. So then what, what, what word do you associate with parcel? Party. Party, so I might say um, music. Musical chairs. Chairs. Games. Now, three seconds have waited. If I had my inflatable stick, I would go Bruh! on your head. Good game, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so what you want to do is put small amounts of sellotape, because the smaller piece of the sellotape you have, the easier it is to open. So the first layer, you just put on the side. Then, if you turn the corners slightly on the edges, Roll it over and again just get a really small piece of tape, put it on the side and do the same on the other side. Get your tape and put it on there. And you've got your first layer wrapped and ready. Now, on the next layer we're going to have a gold coin and a joke inside. So you want that to make sure that goes in that layer. So my assistant is here, he's going to be the gold queen and joke putter in a row. There you go, there's some jokes. Do you want to read out one of the jokes? No, that's not funny. Oh, it is. Why didn't the boy believe the tiger? He thought he was a lion. A lion. A lion. <laughs> a liar. 
They didn't believe him. So it was a liar, liar, liar. That's a rubbish. Okay, so some of the jokes might be a little bit. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> maybe we'll read another one on the way through. So the next layer needs to be a distinct different colour to the first layer. Then you're going to put the parcel in with the way you put the sellotape face down onto the other layer. And that's because when the children open this next layer, that means they can't accidentally take off two layers at the same time. Because this layer is really smooth. Okay? So again, oh, what have I forgot? Thank you, assistant. Put you the can, coin in. You can never forget the price. So put the coin on the top and the joke on the top. That's it. Super. And then we're just going to wrap it in. Again, just put a really small amount of sellotape so that it's not too much to open. Do the corners, roll it over. Pop on the next part. And so on. So, Oscar, do you have the next? So again, you're going to do the next layer with another colour. You've got, remember the sellotape needs to go face down. Okay, put the joke in. You want to see the joke? Why did the... Why did the lion spit out the clown? Because he tasted funny. Put <laughs> <laughs> the coin in. I don't know why I laugh at these jokes. I have just got a silly sense of humour. Pop in the coin. That's it. Now when you're doing the coin, what the best thing to do is where you put the last coin, ideally you want it in a slightly different place because otherwise what happens is you get really tall tower of coins in one area. So that's what we'll do, we'll pop that there. Now we have made sure that we've got exactly 10 sheets cut out because the other thing is that you can get a little muddled as to what layer you're on. So generally I would recommend that you put, if you thought I'm funny, Want to share? What do you call the sleeping bull? I don't know. A bulldozer. <laughs> get it. In. Get it. Bulldoze. <laughs> bulldozer. Great. Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to crack on and carry on through to put them in different places, or they'll stack up, and they'll when you open it, be a big, big lump. I don't want that in a birthday party. You are learning well, my son. They're learning well. Mummy is obviously a good teacher. It's all homeschooling. <laughs> okay. Yes, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's your favourite game, Oscar, at the party? Oh. What's your favourite one that you like to play? So, again, remember the sellotape, put it down. On the inside, it's a bit tight now, that one, but we'll do our best. A musical, musical chair. Musical chairs? I haven't played musical chairs. Have you just seen that joke? Yeah. Go on. Why do gorillas have big nostrils? Because they have big fingers. <laughs> Ah, uh, that would make sense. So go on, musical chairs. What's your favourite thing? Because I used to love musical chairs, but you know, like as you get bigger, and it depends who you're playing, but if people are quite competitive, <laughs> can be quite dangerous musical chairs. So nowadays, I tend to recommend people go with cushions mm. or some very sturdy chairs. Yeah. Yeah? What's your favourite party song? Do you have one? Is it a marshmallow one or? Happier. Happier. Mm -hmm. Definitely a marshmallow one. Why are they saying mouse? It's mouse. Mouse. She's nervous when you're on the telly. <laughs> okay, so we start as it gets bigger using some bigger pieces of paper. The one before probably was slightly, slightly small, but again, the main thing is, is that you want to be the ch to the children. Look at that coin. You want the children to be. Did that sound too good? I want to see the joke. All right. What we? Go on. What is it? How do bees get to school? By school bus. <laughs> oh. The school. What bell? Yeah. The 
school buzz. I don't even know what. Well, when children are older and some children when they're younger go to school on a bus, on a school bus. Oh. And school buzz, what the bees do. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> That's right, they do. So remember, just curl, turn, curl, turn them in, pull it over. You might want it to be a bit neater sometimes. But generally, by the time you're in the middle of the game, the kids are just going to be wrapping it off, uh, ripping off, ripping off the paper. So, and that's that. Now you will need somebody to start the music. And if you've got very young children, I totally recommend you ask the parents to sit with them. Because I have sat at many a party where we have literally just been like, sat there and some kids just like, um, let's hold on to it and what have you. So it's, you know, really probably under fives, under fours, say. You could do with having a parent now or an adult or, or somebody who can just help them learn the rules of the game and passing that along. So... There we go, nearly there, we're nearly at number 10. We've got what we've got, three more layers. I would say I've made many of these, but I forgot how many layers I've done. So are you going to tell us a little joke, Oscar? Why are teddy bears never hungry? Because mm. they're always stuffed. <laughs> Get it? You stuffed teddy bears. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So remember again, that sellotape always goes down the other way to make it easier. Have you done that stuffed one? Oh, uh, to make it easier for them to go there. And of course, if you can get your smaller people to help, that's fantastic too. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. So, are you going to read us the next joke? How do you fit more things? On your farm. How do you, how do you what? Oh, how do you fit more pigs on your farm? Ugh. I don't know. How do you build a sty scraper? Ah, oh, like a skyscraper. Wait, why does it say sty? A sty. Because a pig. Where does a pig live? A pig lives in a sty. A pig sty. I oh, know a pig sty. It's not where they live, is it? Is it? Anyway, if you say if your bedroom's like a pig sty, they reckon it. They reckon it's your bedroom's all messy, don't they? Oh, mummy says, your bedroom's a pigsty, you need to be tidied up immediately. <laughs> then we need you to do it, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yep, there we go. And we've just got that final layer. So we want to make sure this one's really nice and neat and tidy. The others have done now, it's a lovely shaped parcel. We've made sure that those colours um, are going to um, be nice. Oh! Nice and bright on the top. We've put why is a fish easy to eat? Because it has its own scales. Um, um, now I'm going to put um, it. Um, hmm. Next. Uh, mm. No, this is better. Okay, well, fine. What's that one? Why did the snake cross the road to get to the other side? <laughs> Very good. Very good indeed. So we're just going to wrap that last one up. Yeah, come on, we'll... I know, it's because Mummy put ten in. I was thinking ten layers, but there is actually only nine of the coins. Definitely. Now, of course, as well, if you are having a, a party, um, you may want to add as many layers as you like. Um, ten's about right. Most children learn that they can't. You might get the odd tears if somebody doesn't win one. Um, but I would always again recommend maybe you have a little box with sweets of gold coins in and then everybody can have one. That would be really good. Do you want to try it for us, the gold coin? Oh, see if it's nice and tasty. Mmm. So, here we have it. Perfectly wrapped. Pasta parcel with some delicious chocolate coins, some... I won't say brilliant jokes, some bad jokes, Christmas cracker jokes, that kind of thing. Taste the chocolate, the chocolate delicious. Oh, <laughs> Thanks everybody.